Hi lovelies, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be doing a simple baby boomer full set on some really short nail beds. But before I jump into that video, I want to give a huge shout out to my notification squad. You guys are awesome and I want to thank you so much for having your post notifications turned on. These were the first three people to comment on my last video. And if you want to get a shout out, don't forget to make sure that you're part of the notification squad. So these are the nails I will be working on today and i rarely show you guys like nail biters or tiny nail beds on my channel like how to work with them and i want to share with you guys like even if a client comes in and she has small nail plates like this one there is no need to panic go in with your nail prep as usual i wish i had included the prep in this video but unfortunately i didn't think about recording this video until i got to this step because i want to show you guys that it is okay and I use nail tips on her. Yes, I do not sculpt. And this is a personal preference. If you choose to go in and sculpt these nails, that's fine. But for me, I don't have any issues with using nail tips. Now we are going to be doing a tapered square baby boomer acrylic full set. And I am using these clear nail tips. These are the square ones by the McCart company. And if you guys are interested, I would link it in my description box below. I am just going to be using my nail glue, making sure that these nails are nice and straight. If for any reason the nail of itself is not straight, because when you hold her hands together, you can see her fingers go slightly to one side. And we don't want the nails to go that way. So before that glue starts to set, I'm just going to lightly pick that tip up and stick it nice and straight now i'm not damaging my clients natural nails or causing any harm to them or anything like that so please don't come for me this is really gentle this video has been sweat up a little bit so it looks a little bit rougher than it actually is and the reason why you see me measuring these tips up so much is i want to make sure that i cover side wall to side wall because as you guys can see her nails are really wide even though her nail beds are really tiny so if it is that one size looks like it's too tight or too small or if i have to put too much pressure in order for that tip to spread out to cover the entire nail i go a size up and then just file the sides to come down to where i need them to go so i'm just adjusting the tips accordingly for this set i really didn't have much adjusting to do but this is just a tip that you guys please go a size up because if you try to force a tip on a nail whether it be a nail biter or irregular client that tip is eventually going to pop off and that is what is going to cause the nails to pop off completely so now i'm going to take my favorite straight nail clippers and i'm going to cut it to the length that my client wanted now to be fair these tips are not extremely long anyway so we're just going to cut the numbers off of the tips as i do that i'm going to take the same nail clippers and you guys know how much i love these clippers because it saves so much time rather than having to change out tools you cut down the length you can shape them one time and after i do this i'm going to take both hands and make sure that they are the same length if i need to cut off any of the tips to make sure that they're nice and even on both hands i'm just going to go back in with the same clippers and do so next i'm going to take my 100 grit file and i'm going to be shaping these up so while you guys watch me do this let's have a little chat how have you guys been it's been an entire week since i spoke to you guys last and i really hope that each and every one of you are doing fabulous and as glamorous as ever now so much has been going on with me like i know i'm only sharing one video a week for the past like two or three weeks with you guys and that is because i'm not working as regular as i was before now i recently started getting some really horrible pains in my back and it turns out that they are muscle spasms and they come from sitting way too long not stretching my muscles enough not exercising which i have not done in like two months and trust me it needs to start back but because of that i really have been putting a strain on my back now my spine is really small i am short i am like five two if so much maybe five one and some 
and I always tell myself I'm 5'2 but I'm not and because of this my doctor did put me on leave so I am working even though he told me not to but I am working I'm just not taking my full mass load of clients a day so I'm spreading them out throughout the week and sometimes it's at night so it's really difficult for me to get like proper lighting and stuff like that I'm still trying to figure out this lighting scenario for these videos and I really hope that it's clear enough that you guys can see so I am still in the process of trying to figure that out if you guys have any lighting suggestions please let me know in the comment section below I will really and truly appreciate all the help that I can get so because of this my videos have been limited because I can't sit and edit as long as I need to so now I'm actually lying down and editing so it makes it a whole lot easier for me to stretch my spine while I edit I promise you guys that the videos are going to be coming they may be a little bit slower than usual as in posting these I can't give you guys a direct day but I will be posting a new video every week maybe sometimes twice a week and we'll slowly get back to our three videos per week as soon as I get clearance from my doctor you guys know that we'll be back on streamline I'm still not going to take my full mass load of clients a day but I am going to adjust this accordingly where I can get some time to maybe take a walk stretch my back stretch my muscles and then start back to work again so we'll figure it out as we go along so I just want you guys to bear with me I really am glad that I'm still here to produce one to two videos for you guys because I miss you guys so daily and I try to respond to every single comment in the comment section below I really appreciate the time that you guys take to actually comment share my videos to even watch the entire video I really and truly appreciate it and I hold that so dear I just wanted to give you guys an update as to what's been going on I know a few of you have been reaching out to me have been like commenting and saying that you miss me and I'm not putting out as much videos as I used to well that is the reason why so it is going to start back but it's a it's going to be like a gradual process until I get my full health back and I get total clearance from my doctor so then we can move forward so I'm just going to continue to file and shape these nails after I do this I'm going to take my dust brush and I'm going to remove all the excess dust on both hands and next I'm going to go in with a plastic manicure brush and some alcohol and I do use 99% alcohol and I'm going to cleanse these nails. Here is what her nails look like so far yes she has nails y'all doesn't it just look so adorable so I am going in with my JCBT concepts prep steps and that is their dehydrator their antifungal and their extra bond primer now I do two coats of the extra bond primer one coat of the antifungal and dehydrator and I do allow the antifungal and dehydrator to dry completely before going in with any primer now I do two coats of primer I allow one to sort of dry and then the other one while it's still wet and tacky I go in immediately on top of that with a thin layer of clear acrylic now this step is completely completely optional I do it because for me I find it reduces lifting completely and then it makes it a whole lot easier when my client comes in and she decides she no longer wants this acrylic set and she wants to change it out we can just file down to this thin layer and start afresh and for this baby boomer set today I will be using JC Beauty concept sculpting powders so I am using snowflake which is a soft white and I am also using magical state which is a glitter nude nail bed color color and of course for my application I am using my utmost favorite you guys already know if you're new to the channel this is my alpha number 10 oval Kalinsky brush and I do have it linked in my description box below for those of you who are interested it is an affiliate link so I do profit a little bit from your purchase 
which then goes towards improving my videos so I am just going to continue doing this I do have a dedicated video on how I accomplish a baby boomer acrylic full set so if you guys are interested definitely check out my description box below I would link it down there I will also link my JCB to concepts 15% off coupon code I don't profit anything from the, you guys using that code and you can get yourself some amazing acrylic powders at a very affordable price you guys can definitely go ahead and check it out everything mentioned i do try my best to give you guys a very detailed description box below now this set is going to be pretty basic and straightforward and i'm going to allow you guys to watch my acrylic application the only thing is after finished filing i did go around the cuticle area with some ab swarovski crystals and of course i will have a clip at the end of the video to share with you guys the final result and if you enjoy this nail transformation video blow up my comment section with those nail hand emojis so i can definitely post a few more of these on the channel since you guys would be interested in seeing it and if you are here for this really cute but simple set like i'm just feeling this clean simple baby boomer set definitely give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed i would really love and appreciate it if you would join the big glamorous family and click on that subscribe button and while you're there you know you want to join the notification squad so just click on that bell icon right next to that big red button to make sure that you don't miss out every time your girl drops a new video so that is it for me i am out as always i would love for you guys to stay glamorous be safe and i'll see you soon It's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish in one, yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh Memory lane isn't that too far away from my heart Find the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish in one, yeah, yeah Too far away from our hearts, yeah, yeah The ones we keep close
looks we should never let go So tell me who you love, baby Take a moment to unwind, fix yourself and realign yourself with the world, baby Breathe slow, baby Find the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won, yeah. Find the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won, yeah, yeah.
found the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish it